Hi there, I'm Virginia Lindsay of Ginger Cake Patterns and Design. And today we're gonna to continue our journey of busting scraps. Um, I just made this pillow and I'm gonna show you how I did it. It's based on the log cab, the traditional log cabin pillow. I don't know if you ever heard of that quilt block, but it's very traditional dating way back. And I really like this kind of modern scrappy take on it. What you do is you start with one square block and then you build out from it. So it's a really fun way to kind of work on your color skills, to um, use up some of your scraps, and then to create a beautiful, really unique pillow. So that's gonna be super fun, and we're gonna to get to that in just a minute. But first, I'd like to introduce you to my newest sponsor, Zyro. Uh, Zyro is the easiest way to build your own personal or professional website, including uh, portfolios and online stores. And then with my discount right here, this little phrasing right here, and the link down below, you can get 30% off your, um, your subscription to Zyro. So let me show you how I made a portfolio. I'm gonna show you right now. So like I said, I when I went through the Zyro website and it showed all these really nice templates, I chose the uh, portfolio template. I thought it'd be most relatable to you guys um, because it would be a great thing for sewers to have a template where you can send people and they can see what you've been working on, your quilts, your bags, your clothes, whatever you're interested in. I think it's great for us to be able to share things these days. And this one was so simple. Uh, you just type in, see I'm putting in Virginia Lindsay, sewing pattern designer, author, and instructor, I'm gonna write here. And then, so you don't have to be a coder or a designer to use Zyro. You just use their beautiful templates and drag and drop tools. Uh, over here is where you would put in your description. And then you can see I've already uploaded three of my own pictures. But this one down here below, this dark one, I'm going to replace with one of my own pictures. So you just click on it and you move over to where you find where you can upload your own picture. They have a bunch you can put in, but of course I want to put my own sewing pictures in there. So I just scroll through my own pictures, find the one I like the best, and I go ahead and I um, am going to upload it onto the platform. It's really so easy, you guys. It's also the most affordable uh, option available for you to build your own website. And again, with my code right here, and then the link down below, you can get 30% off your subscription to Zyro. So I think you guys are going to love it, and be sure to give it a try. And why don't we go ahead and start making our pillow. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do, I decided that this was going to be kind of my inspiration fabric. And this is a lot like building that, building those kind of fabric combinations I showed you in this video right there. Uh, so I think I'm gonna use this. And then I'm going to use some of this as one of the, um, one of the strips but i'm going to go ahead and cut out like a portion of this and make it the um the center block i'm going to do it at four and a half by four and a half okay so i have the four and a half by four and a half block and next i'm going to start building the other fabrics around it now let me just show you i created all these piles i had using the the main fabric as inspiration i grab some orange, I grab some brown over there, some purpley reddish, yellow, here's more yellow over here, and turquoise, and some browns. And then, and I didn't think tons about this, okay, because I grabbed more than I needed, and I'm just gonna start adding things together. And I'm gonna use the concepts that I've discussed in other videos about combining fabric, and doing color, and and I'm gonna start with, I think I wanna start with some yellow. I think I wanna do something like this. But that's a little thick, so let's see if I have a smaller piece of that one. So I'm just going to take it, and to start these, that's a little bit more than I wanna use. So you can just get your straight edge. Don't make a ton of measurements here, just do straight edges. I wish I had a sharper. And then I'm gonna sew these together. And then I'm gonna find 
another one to go up top here. Now this is like, you know, the central focus of your piece. So you don't necessarily want to do your plainest fabrics here. This might be really cute. Or maybe this would be better. I think this is a little bit better. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut a strip there. And I'm going to sew, so first I'm going to sew these two together and then I'm going to do this one on top of it. And then we're going to work on a strip that goes here. And then we're going to work on a strip that goes here. And then you just kind of keep building around these blocks to create the log cabin quilt or quilt block. Pillow. Okay, here I sewed these three pieces together and, the and I pressed out the seams. So you saw that I first did this one and this one, and then I sewed this one on. And this is a little bit long because when these two sewed together, that you know, it shrunk the piece. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to cut this off. You can use a straight edge if you prefer. And next I'm gonna choose a piece to go here. So basically we're just building out. Now you could have this be the corner or the center. I'm gonna have it be like a little off center. I'm gonna put a few more down low and then I'm gonna kind of build this way. I kind of like that look. Um, so that's what I've decided to do here. And next I wanna go here. So I think I'm gonna go with a brownish color. I kind of like, I might just go a little plain here and go with um, this one, but that's way too wide. So I'm gonna make this one actually pretty thin at just about um, an inch and a quarter. So I'll get my straight edge. This is just random. I'm just making it up and it's gonna work out. It's just kind of a fun way to um, do your little scrappy projects. So I love how that's framed. I'm gonna sew that together and then I'm gonna find one to go down here. And I think I'm going to try to pick up this. Uh, I think I need to get some turquoise in there. And here's something kind of fun. Maybe I'll do that. These are just kind of nicely fitting together. Um, and I'm going to go again a little thin on here, I think. So go with an inch and a quarter again. And so this is how it's gonna go. And then I think I'm gonna go here. And then I'm gonna go here. And then I'm gonna, you know, so you go back and forth to build out your piece and add them in if you want and kind of use varying thicknesses. So I'm gonna put this on and this on, and then I'm gonna add a few more and then I'm gonna check back in with you guys. And we're just gonna kind of continue doing it that way. Okay, here you see, I added a few more and I, you know, I repeated this same fabric because I'm going to repeat that a couple times because I, it's sort of my inspiration fabric. Um, but it's gotten sort of rectangular and even though the pattern would usually be I would add another one here, I've decided I want to add one up here that's a little bit thicker. And so that's what I'm about to do um, and it kind of coordinates with this little print right there. Um, so, you know, don't feel too obligated to follow rules perfectly. Um, I don't. You I mean, you might, the traditionalist might, but this is just kind of, it's kind of a scrappy, modern pillow, and we're just going to do what we want here, as long as you know, you're making it easy on yourself to build back and forth and back and forth. So that's what I'm going to do now, and then we're going to go back over here again. Okay, it's coming along really nicely. I added these others, and one thing I wanted to point out is that while you're working, things end up getting a little bit warped and you have a bunch of threads sometimes. So what you wanna do is regularly kind of square things up. See how this has gotten a little warped up here. And so I'm just gonna take my straight edge, line it up to one side, make sure it's nice and straight there and cut that off. Otherwise your piece can start looking pretty wonky. Okay, so next I'm thinking I need to add a little bit more brown um, and then I probably need some yellow up here. So and then I definitely need a dark over here. So I'm just going to keep building and I kind of want to add something down here just to make it a little more even on the bottom. So that's where I'm going next. Okay, here's where I am on my 
on my pillow, on my patchwork. So I went through my pillows and the one I want to cover, this is an old one, but let me just hold this up for you. This is a 18, no, I'm sorry. Well, 18 by 17 pillow, which is kind of a weird size. So yeah. So, sorry, what I wanna do is I wanna make my piece here that size to cover that. So I'm right now I'm at this point, but I'm going to go ahead and make this one, I'm gonna add this one on, and that's gonna take me 17 here, and then I need to add some on to make it 18 down here, and then I'm gonna be done. Okay, it's done. And of course, I love how it turned out. Um, and you know, we made this in real time, friends, like I didn't plan it. <laughs> so I know that you can do this too. I know that it's kind of scrappy and kind of different, um, but I think it's really fun. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put some batting behind it and do it and quilt it. And what I think I'm just gonna do is start here and then just keep going out and out and you know, out. And then when I'm, I'm just gonna go out that way. So, um, it's gonna be a really cool look. And it is exactly 18 by 17 inches. So it'll fit on that pillow. And um, I think it's gonna be great. You pick an inspiration fabric. You don't think super hard about adding things together, but do try to mix in your colors and your um, the, the prints. Like you wanna have some small prints and the, I did a lot of big prints here, but the small prints, the solids, the, uh, the medium prints, and then uh, things kind of come together. So I think it's gonna be a really cool fall pillow and um, I'm gonna show it to you in action in just a few minutes.